Learning to code in .NET can feel very confusing and overwhelming at times. In the beginning, it seems like there are a million things that don't make sense and you don't even know how they all connect. That was me, but as it turns out, I was making the entire process much harder than it really needed to be. In this video, I'll show you the mistakes I made when learning to code so that you can hopefully avoid them and learn to code more easily. My name is Alien and my goal is to help you learn C Sharp and .NET on your own. When I first started, I thought I was learning. I watched tutorial after tutorial, followed along with every step and even took notes. But the moment I tried to write my own code from scratch, it was like my brain just froze. Nothing clicked the way I expected. This was the first thing that made coding harder than it needed to be for me. Relying too much on tutorials without actually thinking like a developer. I was consuming knowledge, but I wasn't applying it. Here's the issue. Tutorials make learning feel structured and easy. You follow along, everything works, and it feels like progress. But the second you remove the training wheels, you realize you don't actually know how to solve problems on your own. I'd try to start a project but I wouldn't know where to begin. I'd get stuck, go back to another tutorial and the cycle repeated. So how did I finally break out of this? I changed how I learned. Instead of just watching, I forced myself to code along. Typing out every line manually made me slow down and think about what the code was doing. At first I recreated simple tutorial projects, but then I tweaked them, changed the logic, added features, broke things on purpose just to fix them, that's when I started actually understanding. In the beginning it was messy, concepts didn't always click right away and I felt like I was moving slowly, but every time I built something, even if it was small, I connected more dots. And over time the aha moments started happening faster. The second thing that made coding way harder for me was building projects. Not just following tutorials, but actually sitting down and creating something from scratch. I thought I was ready, I could write small C-sharp console apps, solve algorithms and even build basic CRUD apps in ASP.NET Core, but the moment I tried to create something bigger, something real world, I froze again. I didn't even know where to start, what features to build first, or why everything suddenly felt so overwhelming. This is a common struggle for a lot of people I've talked to. We all fall into the same mistakes, like spending endless hours hours, watching tutorials instead of starting a project, trying to build something way too complex without a clear plan, getting stuck in decision paralysis, unable to choose the right tools, frameworks or best practices. So how do you get past this? Here's what actually worked for me. I started by building something small. That was all I could do. A basic to-do list, a note-taking app or something that seemed useful to me, even if it was simple. I broke my project into tiny actionable steps. Instead of trying to build everything at once, I focused on one piece at a time. Suddenly it wasn't so overwhelming anymore. I also accepted that the first version of any project won't be great. And that's okay because a messy finished project is always better than a perfect one stuck in your head. I know that as a beginner finding the right guide to follow is hard and that's why I created the ASP.NET Core MVC Blueprint to help you build the applications you want to build in a simpler way, avoiding the need to piece information together from countless tutorials and articles. You'll learn everything you need from the fundamentals to building and deploying a real-world web application, with guidance every step of the way so that you can do the same. If you think this could help you, you can learn more by clicking the link in the description below or visiting payhip.com slash code the future. And by enrolling now, you'll get a limited time price and bonus. I use to think I needed huge blocks of time to really make progress. I'd get frustrated when I didn't improve fast enough. Some days I felt stuck, other times I'd put off coding, waiting for the right time to dive in. But here's what I learned. Small steps add up. Even if you only spend 20 to 30 minutes coding each day, that time adds up. Fixing one bug today makes tomorrow's problem easier, finishing one small project makes you more knowledgeable for the next one. And skills take time. Nobody becomes a great developer overnight. The more you practice, the easier things click. It's like learning a new language. Daily exposure makes a huge difference. You don't need to make huge leaps every day, just show up. 
Even 20 minutes of focused coding is better than doing a lot only a few days a month. Stick with it and you'll be surprised at how far you go. If you want a learning path to follow as a C-sharp and .NET developer broken down into concrete steps, I have a video specifically on that which should be on the screen. So click on it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you there.